Hi, I'm Brian McKenzie. I'm a researcher at Trust Radius, and today I'm going to explain basic audio editing with Audacity. I use Audacity to edit sound for videos, but you can also use it for music, podcasts, and any other audio that you need to record and edit. If you're interested in more software tutorials, consider subscribing to Trust Radius to make sure you never miss a video. I'm not going to go over every tool the program has to offer, but I'll go over the essential tools that you'll need to record and edit audio. First, you're going to want to set up your microphone and speaker. You can do that from these two dropdowns. This one lets you select your microphone. I have a few options, but I'm going to pick the Blue Yeti since that's the microphone that I use for recording. You can also pick your speaker in the same way, but from this dropdown to the right. You may also need to change the number of recording channels depending on your microphone. For most of you, it will be two, but if you have an XLR microphone, it might be one. There are also a number of settings on the bottom of the screen, including project rate and snap to. These are some advanced settings that you don't need to touch. 44100 should be fine for most projects. Once you have your basic settings ready to go, you're almost ready to start recording. You're just going to want to set your recording volume first. This is going to determine how loud the audio you record is going to be. So if we hit record, you can see that it's kind of quiet as the sound waves are very small. So what we can do to change that is stop, increase the volume, and try again. It might take some trial and error to find out what exactly the right recording volume for your microphone should be. Once you have that figured out, you can delete your test recordings by pressing Ctrl on A and then pressing the delete key. Then you're ready to record. To do so, you just hit the red button and start talking. You want to be sure to leave a small delay at the beginning of the recording or at the end. I'll explain why you want that empty space in a little bit. While recording, there are three buttons you should be aware of. The pause button lets us temporarily stop recording, and then we can pick right back up with the play button. So if you're in the middle of recording and you get a phone call, you can use the pause button to make sure you don't lose your place. The stop button, on the other hand, is what we use to stop recording altogether. So once you finish what you want to record, you'll want to use that button to end the recording. There are a few important tools that you should be aware of when editing with Audacity. The first one is your envelope tool. This tool lets you control how loud the volume is at a certain portion of the track. So as we close the tool in here, you can see the audio levels change to fit inside. Notably, if you set up your microphone properly, you won't have to use this tool much since the volume will already be where you want it to be. But this tool can still be useful for touching up occasional loud spots or if your microphone settings are imperfect. The next important tool for simple editing is the time shift tool. If you have multiple audio clips on the timeline, you can use this tool to drag them around so that they play earlier or later. The selection tool is key for cutting out dead air or removing filler words. To use it, you just click and drag to select an area, and then you can delete it with the delete key. You also use the selection tool to select specific areas for audio effects. You should get pretty comfortable with this tool as you'll use it a lot as you learn more effects and more advanced techniques with Audacity. Now that you know the basic tools and how to record audio, we can start adding effects to our track. One of the most important effects that you should know of is Normalize, which sets the peak amplitude of all tracks so that they match up across the board. This is a good effect to run every time you add a different effect to make sure your audio is consistent even if you've edited specific portions of it. Another important effect is Noise Reduction, which we can use to remove background noise from our audio. This effect is why we left empty space in our audio earlier. To remove background noise, we are going to select the empty space and click Noise Reduction. From there, we can hit Get Noise Profile and then OK. Now Audacity has a profile of what our background noise sounds like when we're not talking. Now select the whole track with Control on A and hit Noise Reduction again and click OK. This will remove all the background noise from your track. While we have the track selected, let's also go ahead and normalize since we added an effect. So we've gone over the two essential effects for performing basic editing, but another common need is a fade in and fade out effect. This is often used when you have intro music and outro music that you want to blend better with the spoken content of the video. All you have to do to add this effect is select the audio you want to fade with the selection tool, click effects, and choose fade in or fade out. Afterwards, you should normalize again as usual. Those are all of the effects that you need to know to do basic editing, but Audacity has a lot more effects to offer, such as echo, reverb, speed change, and more for specific use cases. But the essentials are just noise reduction, normalize, and fade. With those effects and the tools I discussed earlier, you can create professional sounding videos, podcasts, or presentations with ease. Once you have your project created, you can also save it by going into File Save or clicking Control S. You can also export by going File Export and selecting the file type you want to export as. 
If you're still on the fence about using Audacity, consider checking out some verified reviews for the program on TrustRadius at the link in the description. All reviews on TrustRadius are from real users that have used the program in a business capacity. Alternatively, if you use Audacity, consider writing a review of your own. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you liked this video and are interested in more software demos, consider checking out some of our other videos or subscribing to make sure you don't miss the next one.